Hey there, people of the interwebs. My name is Brandon Noel, and you're watching that drawing show thing, a uh, YouTube show where I draw a fictional Saturday morning cartoon character and discuss where I first met this character um, and why it means, why that character means something to me. Uh, today, I'm drawing uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Um, my uh, basically where I first encountered Casper. I can I can remember this. Uh, I was about five, maybe six, um, somewhere around there. My aunt Joyce had a uh, VHS collection of just cartoons, and I'm like ninety percent sure this was her like. Um, you know, hey kids, shut up and watch this um, VHS. Like, I think she had a couple of them. Uh, she, I could be wrong. She could have been a, a, a huge Casper and a Popeye fan for all I know. But um, my Aunt Joyce is the one who introduced me to Casper the, the Friendly Ghost. And with a collection of um, cartoons on VHS. Um, and... Uh, Casper was uh, created by uh, uh, Paramount, um, which is weird because I always, it might have been like public domain, but I always thought he was like with Popeye and um, the Max Flasher studio characters, but uh, I just looked it up. No, he's uh, Paramount, and um, maybe like the VHS copy I remember was um, just like public domain cartoons because you see a couple of those collections now and again. But um, uh, I remember the, the first episode of Casper the Friendly Ghost I ever saw. Um, if you've never seen the cartoons, they're actually really well done. Um, but he was always looking for a friend, and because he was a ghost, uh, no one could get past that and and he literally was a friendly ghost in search of a friend um and i remember one the 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 cartoon i remember the most he goes to the moon or mars i can't remember what either and he finds little aliens and he actually becomes friends with them for a while until they realize he's a ghost um but you know that was kind of par for the course with with casper was um, you know, the, the gag was go, 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 ghost, you know, and the guy would run off or whatever and scream and howl. Um, and, and it was, it was, it's a fun character. Uh, Gold Key did several comics with him. Uh, so like, uh, he's part of the, with the Gold Key comics, you have Casper and, and, uh, Richie Rich and Baby Huey and, and that kind of stuff. Um, and I think he's a very underrated, uh, cartoon character. He's got his, he, he, the thing is he never had recurring characters like with Bugs Bunny and, and, and the Looney Tunes, there was a lot of crossover. Uh, Elmer Fudd would show up in a Bugs cartoon and show up in a Daffy cartoon. Casper really never had a rogues gallery. And, um. Uh, not until later, when they did the uh, early to mid '90s live action film, and that film holds some meaning for me as well as when I was 13 years old and I saw the Christina Ricci Casper film. That was my very first date. I, I uh, there was a girl; she was two years older than me name was Karen, she was a neighbor kid, and uh, my very first date was Casper the Friendly Ghost. Um, didn't even have the nerve to, to hold her hand, you know, I was, I was, I was too shy. Um, and and uh, so, so even thinking about Casper and the later uh, rendition that came out in the 90s, um, I, that, that character holds meaning for me because I, it was my first date, you know, to, you know, little 13 year old boy, 
uh, trying to figure out uh, life and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, taking this girl out to, to Casper the Friendly Ghost. Uh, because I was a nerd even back then. I'm sure there was a better choice of film out at the time for a first date, but Casper seemed to work. And I, I actually like the film even today. I still enjoy the film. Um, and uh, after that film, um, they did uh, another uh, cartoon iteration of Casper that lasted a couple of years that was closer to the film. The Christina Ricci character didn't wasn't a part of it, but they they actually gave Casper kind of more of a rogues gallery with his uh, three uncles, um, uh, Stretcho, Fatso, or Stinky, whatever whatever those three ghosts were. Um, they always reminded me of the Boo Brothers from Scooby Doo, and when I was younger, I thought there was a crossover. Because they, they're just flat out ripping off the Boo Brothers. Like, th those characters are the Boo Brothers from Scooby-Doo. Um, but Scooby-Doo is Warner Brothers. Casper is Paramount. Um, and Warner Brothers, I don't know if they even know half the characters they own. Um, I, I question some of that stuff. So I, I, I do think Paramount kind of got away with stealing the Boo Brothers from, from Warner Brothers in that regard. Um, but uh, it, Casper, like, the later cartoons were fun as well because it was like Casper was sent to school to learn how to be a scary ghost and he didn't want to scare people because he just wanted to be friends. And, and it, was, it was cute. It was fun. Um, and I enjoyed even the, the, the later versions of Casper. And, and one of the things I do want to talk about real quick is, uh, I think it was IDW or Boom recently announced. Um, it's a American Mythology, a company I'm not familiar with, but they, they have announced that they're launching a new line of Casper the Friendly Ghost comics. Um, and Bleeding Cool just broke the story. And it... The, the cover's actually really cool because it looks like they're not just doing Casper, but they're bringing back Wendy the Good Witch and Hot Stuff, of all things, um, for a, a new line of, of kids' comics. And I just think that's really cool because, A, if you're unfamiliar with Casper's comic book history, he's a very important character going back to 1939. Um, the Gold Key Comics, Harvey Comics... Um, he is a very important figure in comic book history, and I, I'm, I for one, I'm glad to see that he's coming back. Uh, I, I'm going to be picking up uh, the Casper comics because a, I, I want to support good, um, young reader, uh, kid friendly books, but also I'm glad to see this character's coming back. It's, it's a there's something there that after all these decades is still beautiful. It's, 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 it's fun. Um, and I'm glad to see that they're going to be doing stuff with Wendy and hot stuff as well. I never read a whole lot of hot stuff. I, I know of the character, um, but he's not kind of my, my bag. Of, my, my, he's not one of my favorite characters. I just never gravitated towards him. Um, but I'm glad to see those characters returning. And, um, I, you know, I hope uh, America mythology does well with Casper. Um, you know, uh, I don't know who owns the rights to, the comic book rights to um, Richie Rich, but they I know Richie Rich and Casper have crossed over several times, disproving the theory that, Richie Rich is the ghost of Casper. Casper is the ghost of Richie Rich. Um, it's it's a goofy theory, um, but like I said, I'm just I'm just glad to see that American mythology is picking up and 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 doing something new with Casper the Friendly Ghost. I'm glad to see he's back. Um, also, like I said, this is a character that that has 
kind of always been around for me. Um, as a little kid, he was one of the first cartoon characters I ever saw. And then he was there for my first date. Um, 